Hey everybody, welcome back to another ST3D video. Like always, I'm BJ. Today's going to be a very quick, straightforward video. Uh, this video will probably apply to maybe 20% of you out there that have bought any kind of a Creality product line. Uh, basically, what we're going to go over today is how to fix that wobbly mount plate that you get. Now, most of the time, everything's usually tightened up, but given that it's been shipped from overseas through airline carriers and more carriers, uh, the vibration sometimes might loosen certain things and that's what's causing the problems in your printer to not either work right or function properly. So today the topic is how to fix the wobbly mount plate on the Creality, either it be the CR10, the CR10S of any kind or the Ender's, uh, Creality Ender as well. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to get that fixed. So by now, at this point, you already know you have a problem. So I'm not going to go ahead and show you anything else. The very first thing we need to do is go ahead and click on prepare. And move axis, go down to one. And raise up your Z to roughly around 250 or a little higher than eye level. And I'll show you why we're doing that. Most of you are probably thinking, why is he raising the x-axis if the problem is the mount plate? Well, I'll show you that. With the z-axis hired a little bit, it's very easy to get to the solution of the problem. And I will show you that as soon as I get this up to level. All right, guys. So just to show you before we get started that my mount plate on the Creality CR10 is not wobbly at all. Two things we need to look at real quick. One notice up here on the wheels uh, these two little metal things right here they're basically like the best way I can explain like extended washers they're very smooth there's nothing wrong with it uh, and there's nothing to tighten here okay now but if you notice at the bottom right there is you're looking at something called a centric nut that's this thing right here and that's what we're gonna tighten to fix this problem so I already showed you that my mount plate there's nothing wrong with it uh, for those of you that have um, all the tools still that came with the Creality, this is what you're going to basically need. And what you want to do, there's two ways to fix this. Okay, if you're lucky, you won't have to take the housing apart. If you're not lucky, you will have to take the housing apart. So let me go ahead and loosen this up for you guys so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. So if you notice now, my mount plate here, very wobbly, okay? And all I did is undo that. If you're lucky enough, you can actually get uh, the wrench here, and just turn it to the right, which is going to be clockwise. Just make sure you have it to where it attaches to the centric nut. Now, if you guys can see it, maybe that'll be better. And just go ahead and tighten it up. All right, guys, so if you notice right here, I just tightened it up and my mount plate is not wobbly at all from any direction, okay? And your plate is still wobbling, then what that means, guys, is you just got a bended plate, a plate that's not angled right. So if you wanna go through the work, uh, basically you just gotta take this, the whole thing off and put it on like a flat table and then just bend it back or forth depending on which way your plate is bent or what I'd probably recommend I know a few weeks ago on tiny machines they actually had one of these mount plates for only five bucks so with shipping I guess it would be around nine to ten bucks if you're not too familiar with it and you don't want to mess with this 
just go and get that order it and they'll send you a new one and you can get it taken care of but basically that's how you fix the mount plate guys and the biggest problem is that dang centric nut right there all right so that's how you fix the wobbly plate or wobbly mount plate on the creality creality cr10s or the ender or any other line uh creality, creality lines along that line all right guys i hope that helped you fix your problem like i said this problem not, might not exist with majority of the people out there for that 20, 30% that do have this problem. I couldn't find a solution for this anywhere. I know a lot of people post it on the Creality Facebook page and they get answers through that, but this actually physically shows you how to do it. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave it down below. You know I get back to every comment that you guys leave. If you liked it, uh, give it a thumbs up or down, it's really up to you. If you want to see more new content, uh, something along these lines, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And like always, guys, good luck and happy printing.